Hey, what's up guys? So here we're gonna be comparing Regulus and Melania versus Lilia and Centurion. So pretty much both sides have an AoE DPS and a single target DPS. And they are kind of flip-flopped and mirrored. So we have a single target star and then we have an AoE star DPS on this side. We're gonna start with this side first because it's a lot easier. Since it's an AoE stage, Regulus have a great time on this stage. I'll talk about the mechanics first, but there's two ways to fight this stage. Either focus the body twice, kill it twice, or focus the arms and body cube. I mean, arms and cube before focusing the body once, okay? Uh, we're going to be attacking with every skill except for Regulus because we want to take advantage of the rousing morale buff that Mineral and Star characters get for not acting that round. So... We're gonna let Regulus get that buff before we do anything. Also, she gains 50% crit because of her own passive, which gives her rousing morale, or not rousing morale, uh, restless heart. So I'll just quickly show you what it is, just so you know. And if you do have a Regulus, please do yourself a favor and build her because she's perfect for this stage. So crit rate plus 50%, damage bonus plus 50%. We're gonna go ahead and finally use her skills. We're gonna slide this over, debuff the enemy, use that, use melania skills because we also want to get melania stacking okay so the main goal is by round four you should have a regulus ultimate and maybe if you're lucky get a melania ultimate as well all right so we got really good flops here we're actually going to re-roll these cards i know it's kind of crazy right it's because we want to get more uh, melania cards to get her alt ready as well and also we want to pre-buff okay Round four is the biggest round because he's gonna do a lot of damage, but we're gonna do a lot of damage and counter him. So here we go. We have ooh, unfortunately one Melani card. Let's roll one more time so we can get a Melani card. So we have two Melani cards. Perfect. We don't have the buff. That's okay. Let's go ahead and use our two Melani cards here and simply just use a Sinidal card. The reason why is we really want um, Melania to get her ulti for the next fight because we're gonna unload a lot of damage. All right, so here we go. Unfortunately, we didn't get to pre-buff with Sineto, but that should be okay. Let's see where we're taking the damage here. Hmm, let's see. Actually, we'll, we'll be okay. All right, what we're gonna do is we're not, we're gonna disregard healing. We're going to buff, we're going to tag the main body, we're going to hit the main body, and then we're going to drop the biggest regular ulti from a level one Insight 3, Resonance 9, regular you'll ever see. And that's because she is double buffed right now. She has 50% damage bonus and she has 50% crit rate. So she pretty much is going to guarantee all her crits. Let's see if Melania crits. Melania does crit because this guy has negative 40% crit defense due to the debuff from Tooth Fairy. Now watch this all. This is insane. Oh my. Look at that. Oh, 17, 7, uh, 17 15, 15, 15. She did 62,000 damage by herself, which is crazy. And that's why you want to definitely take advantage of the Limbo buff and her own 50% crit rate buff, okay? And also look at this, dodge and dodge. Not only did she do massive damage, she gave your team some defensive utility as well. She's just like the perfect character for this stage, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and focus on the cube here. We do have some debuffs as you can see, and if you have two fairy, you can always cleanse them. So what we're going to do is tag the cube here so that he's going to be uh, more likely to get crit. We're going to crit with the ulti to cleanse, and then we're going to just drop a heal here and, again, prepare for our Regulus. So we're going to slide that over, get her Moxie going, and here we go. We're going to go ahead and tag it again. And I think we crit. Yep, we crit. So now we cleanse out all of our debuffs. All right, so now we can use our Regulus's turn, and we also want to pre-buff again. Or actually, we don't have to pre-buff here, but let's see how much damage we need. All right, we need 17k damage. We're going to go ahead and uh, let's see. We're going to go use our Melania here, and we're going to drop that. And we'll probably drop a heal. Mm, no, we're just going to buff. We're going to buff and then hit it, and then we should be good. All right. And we're gonna hit the. We might have overkilled it. Maybe we should have used the uh, regulus first, but that's okay. We're going to kill the cube on this round either way. We're actually not gonna kill the cube. We're going to focus on the body now. We're gonna try to get our Melania. We're gonna pre-buff again. 
All right, and then we're gonna hit it, hit it, and yeah, let's go make a two star here. I'm gonna hit it, hit it, hit it, and heal. All right, so again, we're just pre-buffing for the next round where we have a huge regular salty. As you can see, like we're pretty much altering in and out when to use regular skills. So kind of like if you look at the rounds, the first round, we'll skip the round, and then every even round, we're going to use, uh, what's her name, regulus. All right, so we take some damage here, but we're actually chilling with this Sinetto buff and this two fairy passive healing. All right, we're gonna get punched, but that's okay. Let me have my turn. All right, we're gonna roll for a debuff card from our great two fairy here. We're gonna debuff him. Drop the, yeah, you can just drop all these alties on him and then you're gonna see some massive damage from everyone. So now that he has like minus 40% crit, everyone on your ult, or every ultimate from your team is gonna crit, most likely. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and ulti, hopefully Milani ult crits. And it does crit, perfect. 16k and here we go another huge ultimate from our favorite best girl here look at that oh my goodness you just destroyed everything and so now if you didn't know if you took out all the body parts of the boss here he's going to continuously use these two ultimates on you however they're going to be half the damage but by the time you get to this point he's already super low so let's go ahead and just uh, put him out of his misery here. We're just going to use all of our skills on him. And we're going to use this, 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 and this. And he should be dead. Alright. And here comes Regulus. Is he dead yet? And there we go. We finished it in nine rounds. Very, very easy. And let's see the damage charts. Look at that. Regulus carrying. Alright, time for Lilia and Centurion. I think this is the harder side because Centurion, uh, not Centurion, Lilia is single target focus in an AoE stage, so she's already kind of at a disadvantage, but we're still going to do the same strategy of focusing an arm first, okay? The only thing about, well, not the only thing, Lilia not only is single target, she doesn't have anything in her kit that gains her moxie, and she doesn't have anything in her kit to provide the team with any defense as well, so... You know, it can, it's a little riskier on the side, and it does take a couple rounds more. Like, maybe one or two rounds more. We'll see how this goes. Alright, so now that she's gone, we're actually now going to stop and let Lilia infinitely um, stack the Rousing Morale. And while she's infinitely stacking the Rousing Morale, we are going to use our sub-DPS uh, Melania to do as much damage as we can in the meantime. So um, the best teammates to pair with Lilia are teammates that can do damage, obviously. Um, but if you can give like uh, her a teammate that does AOE damage, it's going to you know cover her weakness. She's great at single target, but if you prepare, if you pair up with an AOE DPS, you got her bases covered. All right, here we go. We're going to heal here. We're going to apply a debuff. We're going to drop our Centurion ulti. I'm sorry, heal, drop our debuff, kick, drop our Centurion ulti and then continuously let our Lilia stack this Rousing Morale. The Rousing Morale can infinitely stack. The difference is the reason why we had to keep using Regulus is because her Restless Heart, the passive from Regulus's kit, that does not stack. So it's more beneficial to use her every other round and let Lilia infinitely stack here, okay? All we're gonna do is infinitely let her stack and I'll try to hoard as many Lilia cards as we can. Right now, we're not getting too lucky with the Lilia cards, but it is what it is. All right, we're gonna continuously try to attack with Regulus here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make another two-star Regulus so we can get more two-star Regulus card here so we get more damage, obviously buff ourselves, attack it. Uh, do we need a heal here? We don't really need a heal, so we're just gonna go ahead and kick. This is gonna combine, and we're going to actually pop a Sonetto attack here, just for filler. Maybe we should just use the single-star Sonetto. That's okay, though. So again, we're not using Lily at all, you know? If this is not really a Lily showcase, it's more like a Centurion showcase. But there is a reason for this. We're letting her infinitely stack, and when it's time we have her skills, we're gonna unload all of her skills with Rousing Morale, okay? So that is the plan here. Okay, so we are going to continuously try to attack this with 
Centurion and pre-buff because we're almost ready to use Lilia. Look at this. We're going to combine. We're going to make a two-star this. This is going to, by moving this, we're going to get one Moxie. Combining, we're going to get another. And now we have our Lily Alt. We are ready for her to attack the next fight. Also, we have our Baby Tooth passive stacking as well. We're going to pre-buff. We're going to go ahead and kick. We're going to heal just for good measure. And we are ready for the next raid. Next round. So, um, very <laughs> much easier for Regulus to, you know, get her damage going and pumping out her damage faster. So we do have to wait a bit for our Lilia to get powered up. But she has four rousing morale stacks, so we are ready to pop the F off with her. Okay, so we're going to roll. Hopefully we get a um, two fairy debuff. Unfortunately, we don't. So we'll just have to make do with what we have. So we're going to go ahead and hit everything. Let's see. We're going to hit this guy. We're going to hit this guy. We're going to hit this. And we're maybe going to just keep hitting the main body here. All right, the reason why we were trying to crit here is to cleanse our debuffs, as you know. And we did crit, so here we go. And now we're going to ulti with Sineto. And Sineto takes out the cube. And now we're going to unleash all of our damage to the main body. Hopefully you crit here. And look at that. Woo! 20k damage. Oh, another. She did 35,000 damage. And she still has a rousing morale buff. So we're going to, again, like Regulus, give her a couple turns to get her ulti stacking and then finish off the enemy here. So what we're going to do is we're going to tag the enemy. And now we're going to switch back over to our sub DPS, which is Centurion, and use her skills. And then we're going to let our Lilia charge up for her ulti. All right, so here we go. Tag him again. He's going to take more crit or higher chance of getting crit. Nice damage, Regulus. I mean, Centurion. And then we're just going to get ulted here. It's okay. This is just the defense down. We're chilling. Like, we can just heal this. Not too worried at all. All right. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You're attacking us. Okay. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and roll, see if we can get a decent card here. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and just pre-buff here. Use this. Oh, what am I saying? Pre-buff, ulti, uh, sorry, buff, tag him with the debuff, hit him, and hit him. And this is going to take out one of the arms as well as doing some damage. And then by round now, we're going to have three Lilia Rousing Morales, and we're just going to unleash all of our damage there. All right, Regulus is going ham. Not Regulus, I keep calling it Regulus. Centurion's going ham. All right, and oh, we got a lucky com combined there. And we're just going to get punched a couple of times. It is what it is. All right, so what we can do is actually uh, we can we're definitely going to finish off him the next turn, but let's see if we can get him this turn, actually. All right, we're going to go ahead and hit him with this first. Hopefully kill the arm because we don't want to accidentally leave the arm up and not kill him. And we'll just hit him here and then... That's one, two, three, and then we'll just finish. I think we should have enough damage, actually. All right, here we go. Here we go. And we killed the arm, and then we're just going to unload on him right now. And just like that. Wow, we got the same round. Okay, that was a really good round, actually. And if you look at this, it looks like Centurion did a lot more damage. And again, it's because Centurion is an AoE-focused character, She's always going to perform very well in AoE scenarios. But if you looked at the damage, Lilia pretty much unleashed all of her damage when she had Routing Morale. So she kind of nuked a lot of the main body and the cubes on the side as well. So that's how you play both sides of Regulus and Lilia. Hope you found the video helpful. I'll leave the stats in the end of the video. Your visit was not in my plan, so stop talking. It's time for a checkup. Please open your mouth. Greetings. Today your shirt matches the color of your eyes very well.
on the in and out. You're bugging me. Oh, Padre, take a seat. Don't stand on ceremony. Stop talking. It's time for a checkup. Please open your mouth. Greetings. Today your shirt matches the color of your eyes very well. <laughs> <laughs> 